Oh, welcome back. It is so great to see our friend Rachel Lambert with the Springfield Regional Arts Council. And please welcome artist extraordinaire Britt Mays <laughs> right here, the People's Choice winner from last November's Members Show, which, by the way, I saw the show because I happened to be at the Creamery. Amazing, amazing artists that were featured. I was just in love with everything that I saw. So, Rachel, let's first start with what's happening and why you're here. Yeah, so at that Members Show that we had in November, we had 80 uh, Arts Council members submit a piece to be judged by our Visual Arts Committee. They went around and they had the incredibly difficult task of narrowing that down to under 10 mm -hmm. artists. So they went from the 80 that were submitted to we have eight that will be on display at the uh, first Friday show this Friday at the Creamery Arts Center. Um, Britt was one of our <laughs> amazing uh, members that was in that show. And then the other ones, we have everything from ceramics to photography. We have um, fiber art, 2D art, 3D art, um, abstract painting. It's a little bit of everything. There's some collage in there. Um, mm. So lots of different mediums. So uh, we have a wide variety and uh, that's all gonna be on display. So each of our eight artists are gonna have a mini showcase of their own. They each have like, 10 to 12 pieces that they've submitted mm -hmm. that will be on display so they'll have their own little exhibit. Oh. How awesome. Yeah. And, and Britt, since you'll be there, yes. how far in advance do you start prepping your little exhibit of your eight pieces? Well, I mean, as soon as I found out that I was going to be a part of the show, I started thinking about what pieces I wanted to bring and started creating all of the pieces and just got to work right away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it hard to, is it like picking your favorite child? Because it you, is. I'm sure as the artist, <laughs> you love all of your work, you know. Yeah. I, my husband is very sweet and lets me spread out all of the images and kind of make a mess uh -huh. and, and just spend time with each one. I get my friends feedback. My son is also a photographer. So he was home over Christmas break and kind of gave gave me some, you know, tips of what oh. he thought would, would show well. Oh, and nice. it was just a really fun process to be and, a part of. And we did ask you before, we, yes. you know, asked kind of what your forte is with yes. photography. And you said, Landscapes, but you also mm -hmm. dabble in you know other forms. I do. I love um, landscape, being outside in nature. You know, everybody that spends time outside, you know, always feels refreshed and energized. But I, I also enjoy doing some portrait work. I'm working with friends and family and um, dabbling in a little bit of abstract work as well. Mm -hmm. And along with Britt, Rachel sent me some photos of some of the, the artists who will be there because we wanted to showcase mm -hmm. all eight couldn't come. But I don't know if you know their names offhand or if you just want to yeah, show the photos. Yeah, so this is Doug Steer. He is an abstract painter. I love abstract. All right, I just, That's mine because... I need to just scoot yeah. closer so no, I can you're see. Good. I'm sorry. Jennifer Nelson, she is a fiber artist. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. That's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. so that's uh, 2D or 3D, I'm sorry. Uh, fiber. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. This is Melinda Schaefer. She is a painter. <gasps> that little bird is so cute. I know. <laughs> oh. oh, she's got beautiful pieces. This is Sean Sonderlin, and he is also a painter. Um, he has a variety of uh, that it's like abstract to real life. Oh, okay, okay. I gotcha. A okay. little bit of everything. Um, this is Victoria Johnson. She was actually on with me yesterday to talk to Blake. Mm -hmm. um, she is a col digital collage artist. Oh, that's oh so digital great. collage. Okay. Yeah, and then this is Debbie Gilly, who was also on the show yesterday. She does lino cut and wood cut uh, print making. <gasps> nice. So it's you know you you cut it out and then you print over it. Oh, so okay, gotcha. Different um, layers layers on there, so the colors are all different layers. Okay. Kind of think screen printing. Yeah. Uh, okay. So oh, that's like that. so cute. I like that. And then this is uh, Mary Moore Mosby. She is a ceramicist, and these are black pottery, um, and she has a full set that oh. she created oh my for us. Gosh. It's How gorgeous, and there's sparkles in it. It's oh, so wow. pretty. Mm -hmm. um, she, this is the first time she's made this kind of stuff for us, so we're really excited. It's gorgeous, and when the light hits it, ah! Oh. See the sparkles <laughs> come out. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's awesome. And then obviously Brit. There's Brit. <laughs> yeah. Look at that beautiful artwork. Wait, yeah, so that's one of her photos. Wow. And then, yes, oh, and the event that. itself. The event this itself is this Friday, February 2nd, from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Creamery Arts Center. We'll have live music with Michelle Gillum, um, snacks and refreshments, some drinks provided by 4x4 Brewing. Oh, very mm -hmm. excited about that. Mm -hmm. um, and all of our artists will be there mingling, so you can get to know them. 
um, because you should note them. Yes. <laughs> and the question everybody will be asking is, yes, you're showing this, but are they also for sale? They are available for, per for purchase mm -hmm. with part of the proceeds benefiting the um, Arts Council. The Arts Council. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's yeah. Um, not everything will be on sale, but most of the art that's on mm -hmm. display will be. Do you have to look for the little dot? Yes. Oh, so fancy. <laughs> what's, what's the little dot? So if you go to the piece and there's a little dot, that means it's been sold. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. I didn't know that. I just found something <laughs> new. Yes. Here we go. Okay, so that's this Friday. That's this Friday. What time again? Uh, five to seven at the Creamery, and then we have 15 more venues that are open for First Friday. So hit us up first. We're the early birds, and then go out downtown. And Yeah, and if you've not been to First Friday Art Walk, it is amazing. So much fun. And if you heard the weather earlier, it's going to yeah. be like 60 degrees. Perfect. Beautiful. I mean, how could you pass uh, that up? What better opportunity? Yeah, yes. no reason February, to stay inside. 60 degrees. Let's go for a walk. That's crazy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody will be excited. Well, I was going to say, this out. is also, for timing with me, I just got a new house, so it's like, i got to find things to decorate with, you know? got to find some art. And so. if you want more information about the Arts Council, is there a website? Or Springfieldarts.org. People... Mm -hmm. Check them out, guys. And if you've not been to the Creamery, you're missing out. I got to see that exhibit last fall when I was there for Nutcracker rehearsals, and it's a beautiful space. And a lot of great artists. And believe me, I've actually bought original art now because of the Arts Council, yeah. which I love to display in my house. So mm -hmm. it is attainable, basically. Is what yeah. It's well, and it's always special to have kind of a one-of-a-kind piece. Yes. Absolutely. So, thank you guys Ladies, so much. Thank you so for having much. Too. <laughs> All right, you guys. More fun on Ozarks Fox AM after this. I do. I remember looking at that piece because I was going, if that isn't fall.